standing before an absolute machine of a team. Exactly. Ivern, because Inspired is really he's Inspired is such a good jungler, right? Like top tier. Probably top five jungler in at this world. Easy. And look at that. Uh, blue side, uh, red side has to be. Ooh, they're going to let them have Skarner, dude. They're going to first pick Skarner, obviously. What is the answer to Skarner that they have? We got. They're going Kaisa. And who? Warwick. Do it. <laughs> Bruh, dude. That'd be so insane. Oh, uh, look. If T1 wins. Mm, Ash? Interesting. I mean, you have to pick jungle in the first three, right? Or they just ban out a bunch of junglers. Nunu? Well, Look, they have I've... No, okay, he's smiling. Nah, dude, he's just hovering it to hover it. <laughs> Seraphine. Dude, it's the president of the... Of, uh, the LCS is back. Seraphine, the president of the LCS. You know, <laughs> the, the champion that literally carries LCS players. So this is how they win game one. They literally just pick Seraphine. Bruh, no way, man. Man, I almost don't want to believe it. Thing is that it goes mid. It goes mid. Chovy, Ari. Okay, Rumble for Keen. Oh, Silas? No. Mm. I mean, you have Ashel will be good for Silas. Serafino would also be good. I like both. I like both Ari and Silas. Serafino will be really good. Oh, and the Galio, bro. Okay, so yeah, Fly's like, comp looks so gross mid to late game, dude. Yeah, apparently there's no damage to kill the Galio. Nope. Like they are so AP heavy, and since uh, since Fly already have their AD carry, they could just these two. They could just ban AD carries. They could just ban probably the Callista and what else? Mm, Rel. Uh, yeah, Lehen's Le Rel is really good. Um, more engage. You can't play Kaisa against this comp, so there's no reason for them to ban Kaisa. Right. Ezreal's already been banned out. Paces Ezreal's okay sometimes. 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 Cassiopeia banned. That's it. It's definitely top lane. I mean, the Galio. Yeah, but also, like, also Gen G. I guess, I'm, I'm assuming Gen G and Fly have scrimmed against each other. And Quad brought out, like, Cassiopeia against, like, one of their one of their games and it, it I think he's played it worlds actually has he bro maybe i just don't watch these lcs games dude <laughs> for obvious reasons it's just hot garbage okay so instead of banning pays out they ban the hands out which is actually smarter in my opinion because like yeah pays dude because <laughs> they they don't want uh they don't want to engage and they know that uh, Jin G is looking for engage supports they still have alistar though they have um they have um, the Alistar, yeah. Amumu. They have the Alistar, they have the Leona, they have the um, Nautilus. I mean, the thing is, you can't really ban out, like, all of the engage supports. You can only ban out the best, which is what Fly did. Okay, Zen. Zen Zhao is the jungle. Okay. Interesting. So I guess Zen is just the answer to Skarner, I guess. Yeah, here's the Callista. Well, so it's oh. I thought they were gonna go Callista Renata Glass here, dude. I really thought they were gonna go Callista Renata Glass. So I guess they're just gonna go Jinx and what? They can't play. Uh, engage. They can't play engage with uh, Jinx though, because then Jinx will just die in team fights because there's no one protecting her. That's this is part of the problem. When you play Jinx, though. Yeah, but if they don't pick Engage, then they don't get to choose when to fight. <sighs> Why did they pick Jinx, though, man? <laughs> Vayne top versus... You know, that'd be a hilarious match of Vayne top versus Rumble. Instead of just, like, Galio versus Rumble. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I don't know about that. 
Are they going to move it to Seraphine mid? That's the question. Uh, because this obviously is a champion that you can flex around. Okay. Yeah, president of the LCS is back. Seraphine, baby. Seraphine. I was wondering because I only got, I only get, I only caught like the, the uh, last three games, right? And bro, I saw the Seraphine bands and I'm like, what, what's with the Seraphine bands? I can't believe they actually beat Gen G with Seraphine, and then then and Gen G just banned Seraphine. They're like, yeah, no, this champion's busted. Where it's it's out of here, dude. Now I hope Gen G picks up Seraphine, <laughs> and like their next plays against T1, so Seraphine becomes the uh, the president of worlds or something. I mean, this is what uh, this is what they gotta do to win. They have to pull out these pocket picks that Gen G doesn't know how to play against. Gen G has never. Played against a Seraphine mid. Nobody picks it in LCK. They probably don't even play it in like solo queue. Like no one in solo queue even plays it in support or any role, really. So. Probably not all that much in uh, high elo. They, yeah, it's not in support either. Oh, they're worried about the damage output. You don't need damage if you literally live for like 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't, like, if the enemy comp cannot kill your comp, that means you deal more damage than them. If you have more sustain, if you can live for a long, longer period of time, that means you can win team fights. Seraphine empowered W, so broken. I mean, they they nerfed it bad, but like, it's still really strong late game, right? It's just that you know, you have to get to late game because Seraphine's kind of weak early. But like mid to late game is where she starts to shine. And if this game goes like 30 minutes, I think just the Seraphine comp wins. Because like, holy man. They have so much healing. Because even Alistar's passive healing too does quite a bit. Because it, it like heals like 100 per uh, champion in the area, right? And that's like 500 HP healing. And then Seraphine heals based on missing health. So like the lower you are. Lock it if he wants. Yeah. So it's just... It really is a battle of attrition here. It really is a battle of attrition. And it looks like like uh, Flyquist could just beat that, win that game of attrition. Because Jinx has to kill someone, and then she gets excited, and then she kills everybody. But if she can't kill someone, like this comp is showing that you're going to have a hard time, you know. You're going to have a hard time getting a takedown to get that Jinx passive going on. And so... Yeah, it's literally a battle of attrition and looks like Fly's comp is like really broken when it comes to that. No, oh, man, do they? There's no way they actually find Keen here, right? There's no way. Yeah, okay. It's really hard to do anything level one. Flippo got one of them. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything when it comes to your clear, right? You still get level 3 doing the same 3 camps, right? So it doesn't really matter. Not very consequential. No, not at all. By the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. Would be consequential if it uh, delayed level two. Yeah. If he had, to, if uh, if Canyon had to literally run away, if Canyon literally had to run away and not like leave that camp and go do another one, then yeah, that's huge. So they had they had got vision from the hands from the uh, Ash Hawkshot. Interesting. Ash Hawkshot. Ta Ash takes Hawkshot level two. So just so you can have better vision to play the map, they show they find King on the ward so they could start rotating out. Oh, he loses cannon. That feels bad, dude. That's a lot of golden XP. You're going to have a fun time watching the Seraphine mid lane doing nothing but farming all game. I love it. Can't really, you know. 
She really can't, uh, you know, forcefully push out other champions. She could just sit there and live forever, right? <laughs> also zero uh, solo kill potential so yeah <laughs> not uh, not the most exciting thing in the world to watch man i really like the meta of the uh, lane swap not my foot though She's just doing Blipple things, man. Tier for Seraphine? We're scaling? We're scaling? Please tell me Seraphine has a uh, Gathering Storm, right? <laughs> Please tell me Seraphine has Gathering Storm and not Scorch. Yeah, I don't know why you would take Scorch. So maybe I have a uh, solo kill potential. There's not gonna be any. I mean, once you once you hit six, that means Chovy hits six, and uh, yeah, you're yeah. never gonna land your ult, right? I mean, uh, yeah, the ult is not landing, the E is not landing, and then uh, what's his name? Zen doesn't have anything to lock you down either. Oh, the dive's coming in. Kind of hard to dive a Galio, though. Kind of hard to dive a Galio. Crucially, though, while Blipo is completely fine here, they've already got their bot lane on the top side of the map. I mean, they also had a uh, inspired, so it'd make it even harder. I think you don't want to do it. I just want I just want you to pan look it, observers if you can pan over to Seraphine when she lands an ability so I could see if Quad took Scorch or not. That's all I need to know. That's mm -hmm. all I need to know if he took Scorch or not. That, I'm not asking for much, right? I would be surprised if he took Scorch, especially looking at uh, how he's playing the match out. What if he's actually really trying to like poke Chovy, but he just can't? That's a possibility. Oh, he missed Cannon! He missed Cannon! Featured matchup. The jungle. The jungle. That makes sense. Yeah, Inspired is a really good jungler, man. Like, really good. Probably one of the best the West has ever produced. Alright. Do you ever play Master Yi? Look, see what I mean? How is Dragon not being taken right now? Yeah, they didn't even... Uh... Right, why are we not going straight for it? Go, Canyon, go. Go straight for it. Yes. Yeah, Ping's next to the Dragon? <gasps> Pei's going to... Hey, let's go. Yeah, let's do this. And there's a vision now. They know if they're going to... He didn't have to go through a vision to get there, though. I mean, no, I meant like, yeah, I guess, because he's got the, the ability to go through walls. Ah, uh, what is this? Nah, what is this, bro? Nah, okay, fine. I don't know why they don't like the dragon. It is Chemtech. One Chemtech doesn't do anything. Yeah, but like Dragon Soul does do something. <sighs> I guess they don't want Dragon Soul. <clears throat> Seems like now would be a decent time to go for it. Seraphine doesn't have any mana left. Can't fight. Yeah. Has to recall. But your your uh, Cho your Chovy already recalled too. Chovy recalled earlier though. True. Yeah, dude. I don't. I don't know. A lot of people just don't like dragons no more. They rather just f try to flip at grubs now. I remember when everyone used to flip at Rift Herald. When Rift Herald really didn't give you anything. 
There's two Rift Turtles. The second Rift Turtle was literally useless. Because, like, you only grab Rift Turtle to get plates. Two free plates, right? And then the third, the second Rift Turtle did nothing. Because, like, the, uh, the, uh, the plates from the turrets were gone. So, like, you no know, one, either people literally lost the game because they wanted to fight for Rift Turtle, or, like, Rift Turtle literally just disappeared because, like, why would you? Why would you? Honestly, why would you go out of your way for it? All right, good. FlyQuest took the dragon. They are scaling now. That is some damage reduction and tenacity for them. Please, I need to know if Quad has scored, man. I need to know. <laughs> Just one land ability. Please don't go. Observer, stay. Stay, stay, stay. Land one ability for me, Quad. Please. Your score should be off cooldown. No! Bruh. I swear if Chovy loses some HP, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. Again, a good move from FlyQuest. Masu moves up towards the top side of the map, ready for that second grub to contest. No Doesn't even really like look like he's trying to hit Chovy with anything when he's in lane. That level you talked about earlier, Flowers, still not level six for land. This should be a big warning signal. Come on, hit someone with an ability so I could see to help him get that level up. As Chovy takes a bit of a trade against Whippo. Ah, oh, he still hasn't landed ability, bro. Please show me that scorch. Or not? We also went Ionian boots. Can't imagine he's gone scorch with Ionian boots. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, no, I didn't notice if he has Scorch or not. Oh, Seraphim Ult is huge. Nah, yeah, dude, look at that team fight from FlyQuest. Three for zero. Well, wow, they got Chovy before he could ult out and before he could use Flash. And they didn't even need Whippo. He was pushing mid to actually get the tower damage down. And FlyQuest opened up a massive game one lead. The target selection was phenomenal. Keep your eyes on Chovy. The TP comes through. But there's that mid lane ward. The mid lane ward spots out Chovy. They turn their attention onto him as he tries to come in for the flank. The Ash Arrow will connect. The I can't tell if Scorch is on Jovi or not. There's too much stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, such a such a good surf. Yeah, this is this is it. This is the team fighting prowess of the comp that FlyQuest have. You literally cannot out team fight them. Look, Nuke Duck knows it's not over. It's not over. We won one team fight, guys. Calm down. We won one team fight. Not until we have a 3-0 series. Am I going to... Oh, he smiles a nope. little bit. He smiled. He smiled. He smiled. He smiled. Uh, I mean, look. Look, smile. you have to be kind of happy anyways. Because the expectation of, like, Fly versus Genji was Genji 3-0. Fly does nothing. Just, like, is the game going to last 90 minutes or shorter? Like, that's what's... Like, that was everyone on their mind. And, like, it looks really good. Look, uh, Fly won a team fight, you know? That smile lost on the series. <laughs> yeah. This is really good, though. I mean, even if you don't know who wins, they got uh, Fly has four grubs. Yeah, four they grubs. They got Dragon. They got a more solid team fight. Much more There's solid team fight. It's hard for the APs to do damage to. Yeah. There's quite a few of the champions that even if you hit them with the Skyner ult, it doesn't matter too much. I mean, 
Yeah, because the only ones you can hit the Skarner ult is going to be Inspired Whip or Busio, right? Yeah, On once front. the Skarner ult ends, Inspire just ults. Busio doesn't really care. Mossy is probably not going to be in range, neither is Quad. I can't tell. There's around for the Leona. I don't. Okay, that was that was weird from Lehand. There was nobody around. Yeah, that was kind of int. Okay, those two Probably kills. Not. Those two kills is Gen G like literally and playing with their food. Oh, they got two kills and pays flash. Okay, it doesn't look like that Quad has um gathering storm. But I'm gonna check right now. The only other person who was close. Oh, here it is again. The only other person who's close here is uh, Canyon, but you gotta kill. Look at this. Jinx is gonna take forever to get there. Yeah, I mean, like, Skarner's right there too, but it was just. <clears throat> like, even, <clears throat> even if Skarner was there in the first place, like, you have. You have Whipple within ult range, for Christ's sake, right? Yeah, I mean, there's no damage. Uh, Seraphine empowered Ws, and then she can ult or even E. It's like, what, what is going on there? Oh, look at that. Chovy took Scorch. Quad on Seraphine took Gathering Storm. That's what I like to see, baby. Let's go for the scaling, baby. Scorch is such a terrible freaking... Look, it might be good on um, Chovy because he's actually good enough in lane. But like when when your entire thing as Seraphine is do nothing and just survive and just farm, that Scorch becomes really, really terrible, right? It becomes useless. So yeah, he did take Gathering Storm. Yeah, Chovy took uh, uh, Scorch and Electric Cube, but he didn't look, really look like he was trying to punish all that hard in lane. I mean, he couldn't. Seraphine has more range, and then she's just gonna sit back, max range, throw her abilities to wave clear or poke you out, and then just recall whenever. And then, at, like now, Seraphine has Seraph's embrace, and not only that, Quad went mana bow plan to get mana flow ban to get another 250 base, um, another 250 base mana on top of the mana region that uh, thing uh, that room gives you. So like she. Like, Seraphine is sitting on a ton of mana and a ton of mana regen. So, like, at one point, she just sits there and just out-sustains you because of her mana. And it looks like she's going to go Lorandi's next. So, even more mana, right? <clears throat> not, uh, not great. Oh, oh Chovy, but it doesn't matter because he has three uses of that ultimate. They got the TP out from Keen. Um, do they want this? Oh, <laughs> Masu's so low, but okay. Oh, <sighs> eh, they kind of messed that up, but they didn't die, so. Yeah. They get Rift Herald, I guess. But like, here's the thing. Um, do they get a tower out of this Rift Herald? They might be able to get mid lane with it. My as long as doesn't do that uh, one thing he did. <laughs> Lose the game for their team. No, he just, uh, just tosses the Rift Herald into a random wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got top lane you can probably take with it. Good map play from Fly. Grab a tower. Mm -hmm. Who's got the uh, rift? The oh, Skarner has rift. You have. 
Yeah, you can keep on Rift until Dragon's up and then probably use it. Maybe. I kind of, yeah, I mean, yeah, I miss kind of old Rift because old Rift, you were able to do that. Like, you were able to set Rift top lane right now and then all go bot and because Rift would get its charge on the tower anyways, right? Mm -hmm. You would have to go answer it or you would lose your tower. But now with this new Rift, like, you, you have to be there. You have to steer it. Yes, it's fun, but, like, but... It, it, it forces you to have to be with Rift, and so when you want to do like um, multi map, pl multiple plays on the map, now you're down in numbers when you want to do that those kinds of plays. You don't lose all that much damage from not riding it, but I mean, if you ride it, you might as well maximize your damage, right? Yeah, I mean, don't you don't don't you also get void mats too from riding it? Yeah, but I mean, if you can still set it in the lane and let it go. Inspired needs to ult. He's ult. He's alive. Oh, good taunt by Whippo Galio uh, flank. Oh, oh, oh. Hayes. Oh, good. And oh, that kiting from Genji is so clean though. But they 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 ran out of gas. They can't they can't do anything now. They ran out Jinx of gas. Jinx tried to ult Inspire, but he uh he yeah. flashed out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that denied Jinx an, an, uh, a reset. Yep. Can't give Jinx the resets. <clears throat> that would have been bad, actually. Yeah, no Void Mites. So, like, it's actually more damage. You lose a lot more damage because of the whole Void Mites. Kind of a late uh, ult by Inspired, it seems yeah. like. Yeah. He was CC'd for quite a bit of it, so. <laughs> Popo doesn't hide how he's feeling. Heck no. Heck no, dude. Yeah, but like when he's looking like that, you know, he's he's feeling himself, dude. You have to be careful, cause this guy is world class when he can be, right? Yeah, when he's on, he's he, one of the best top players. Yeah, he exert like one of the best. Yeah, exactly. He exerts so much pressure when he's on his game, like, like. He's just so good when he's on his game, but like, bro, don't watch most of the LCS games because, bro, you would cry watching that Whippo, dude. Because you literally go look like, who the heck is this man? Who is this guy? Yeah, Whippo is world class. And then try and jump out right at like at ten percent health. And when he when he succeeds, it looks really it looks really good and calculated. Yeah. If it fails, then it looks like he just ends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And not only when he fails, he tries it again, being down in resources and gold, in levels and everything, and then dies again. And then you're like, Whippo, what are you doing, man? Like, <laughs> yeah, then he's like, oh, four, and the team can't win. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the good and bad with Whippo, right? I mean, that's how, three, six, uh, that's how like 369 has his um, iconic nickname, right? Yeah. Hey, he's either a three, a six, or a nine. You know, <laughs> he's either playing like a three or a six or a nine. So, you know, that's how he gets his account. Like because like Ben is also like kind of coin flipping. Like there, he has sometimes entire season when he looks the best, right? But then he has entire seasons where he's a three. <laughs> and like Whippo is the same thing. He's just like you will. You'll have an entire year where you're like. Like, why would you get Whippo? But then, like, when he first came to North America and played with that T1, uh, uh, TL team, Team Liquid team, when he literally was dealing 40% uh, of his team's damage, and you have to ask yourself, bro, how much more does he need to do just for Team Liquid to win games? 
Like, if Whipple's off his game, like, Team Liquid's not winning games. If one person, your top laner, is playing top Pantheon, top Graves, and just so in order for you to win games. Like, dude, it's hard. Like, it's hard to watch when he's not on his game because, like, it's really bad. But when he's on his game, dude, it's it's good to watch. It's nice to watch. Yeah. Yeah, Bwipo is also like I I just love good top leaners. So like I watch Bwipo sometimes. <laughs> I watch Keen all the time cuz he's he's my favorite top laner of all time, man. You know. Stuck in like terrible LC uh, LCK team like a freak of freaks for the longest time. He was on KT for a while and then he finally gets on this John Gen G Ross. Oh that was a good old. Oh, he got hit Blank. by the surfing. Oh, 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 but he lives. Nah, dude, but he lives. Oh, but doesn't live. Baron is up. Dude, they're all full HP still, man. Oh, they're still all full HP from Fly. Dude, that uh, that Seraphine ult went like a screen and a half there. Yeah, because it just trapped. Because it extends even hitting your teammates. <laughs> yeah, you just hit through like three or four people. Yeah, exactly. People don't see it coming sometimes, dude. They forget about it. I forget about it. <clears throat> Man, the fact that Paige lives there with like a fraction of his HP, dude. It's so insane. I didn't have to use Flash either. No. Why is Boosie up there, man? Knock know. these people out. What is he doing? There's no jungler, so... I mean, he just dies here, no? Oh, good... Okay, good disengage from his ulti, I guess. But, like, Leona could have stopped and she had ulti, but she didn't. That's interesting. Seems like kind of weird movements from Busio. Whatever. They get the Baron. Yeah. Hey, this is this is a good dragon for Genji to stop their bleeding, right? Because they have, um... Fly has soul point, so... Yep. This is a bounty as well. Yep, so we get some we gold back. Oh, oh! baby look at all this extra gold baby now the the baron uh the baron gold has been wiped out yeah oh my gosh man the long flank the long flank yeah he still has ult go get this bot tower no they get they can't get any tower except for mid they don't have waves Yeah, no, dude. They weren't in position to get towers. Feels bad, dude. Oh, another. Oh, dude, another bounty. Dude, I hate bounty so much. Because, like, good players get punished. Because bad players do bad play plays. <laughs> Look, they got over 1,500 gold in bounties. Gen G right now. How BS is that? Yeah, How three BS towers, is that? dragon worth of bounties. It's so dumb. You can just see it on. It makes me cry, dude. It actually makes me cry, dude. I hated the bounty system. I hated the extra influx of gold that they put into the game with turret plates. Like, uh, I just, I just don't like it. But this is, this is what people like to watch, I guess. They like being whiplashed. Hard to carry games by yourself these days because of all this. Stuff. Yeah. It's a team game, man. You shouldn't be carrying 1v9. You should be winning the game with your team that you can't even communicate in League of Legends. <laughs> they still don't have voice chat in League, right? No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alright, almost 30 minutes into the game. Grabbing Storm, getting Giga Value, man. Getting Giga Value at 30 minutes. More than Scorch. Yeah, way more than Scorch. That's kind of a sad Baron power play. Well, yeah, because of the all of the... Because uh, they literally got four bounties. They got bounty kills. No, they didn't get bounty kills. They got the bounty on the... Um, Three turrets and a dragon. Yeah, there. Yeah, three turrets and a dragon. And so, like, nah, just 
Man, dude, it's just so hard to, like, because of, like, how the bounty system works while you're in game, you can't tell how the gold lead is working anymore, right? Other than, like, because, like, back then, like, if you looked at this game state without any, like, um, bounty system, like, j like, fly quits would genuinely be 10k gold up. Like, that's how the game would be if there was no bo bounty system. Fly would literally be 10k gold up, and then Fly could just slap Gen G with their wallets and win the game. How crazy is that? Yeah, if they're gonna have bounties, they need to rework them. Yeah, it just gives too much gold, dude. Because like, because like, you get a lead, right? You get like a, you get like a, like what, like 600 gold lead above your laner or something like that, and then you have like a 200 gold bounty on you. So like, so like, they get a kill on you and they get the bounty and that's like 500 gold. Right, and then because of how bounties work, they get and like catch up XP works when you're behind. They get extra XP, they get extra gold, and it's like now you the now you're even, even though like you got this lead on them, and it's like how is it that like I have to do more work to get a lead, and they have to do less work to make it even? Like literally, that's how it works. Look at that. Nah, whatever, dude. I don't like bounties, but whatever. Genji are grouping up in mid, trying to get the wave shoved out, and then they'll have to approach as now over the walls. Oh, oh no. no, 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 they don't get him. But Chobi's able to dodge away. Now Buzio continuing to move forward as Canyon survives. No real sincere pressure on Genji. It's the Seraphine ulti of Quad. Ooh, 30 minutes hit. Gathering storm proc. Let's go, baby. There you go, gathering storm. Maybe gathering the storm. Going in, looking for a taunt, but he's not gonna find it. Would have only been Canyon and Lahens anyway. The tanky members of the Gen G squad. Fly quest and Gen G. A mid prio for Fly Quest. The Leona is the engage here for Gen G as Fly Quest make their way into the bot side river. They're gonna go ahead and start that Drake off. It's already down to half. Oh, they're just gonna split. Wow, Canyon let it go. Why would Can you let it go? It's mountain. I mean, and not only the why would you let it go? It's mountain. You Canyon is playing Skarner with the most broken CC form suppression. If you suppress Inspired, he can't smite. And then you can just smite and take it. So he could have literally flash forward like, ooh. Hey, I got like SKT vibes again, man. When he, uh, you know, across the map. Ooh, Seraphine ulti. Huge. GG. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, dude, it's so beautiful. That's it's so good play. Like, they made two mistakes. Canyon not trying to go in to to take that with his suppression because he literally he could literally just ult the Zen, smite the dragon himself to get the dragon, and then he can die and let his teammates, you know, get out. Right? Like he could just do that. And then yeah. the weird play from the hands in mid lane. <laughs> That just gets him killed and Canyon. And then Pays loses his flash because they weren't like coordinated enough and they just kind of go in one by one. Like, uh, yeah, like if you're gonna go in and fight, don't go in and fight them after they get the dragon and a shield, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back one second. Right on.